What's up everybody? Remember me? It's Crappy Kirby and I made it through October a huge month for me for Halloween parties, middle school dances, award banquets, and uh, a lot of homecomings as well. But uh, anyway, we're back on the fishing trail. Got a little bit of time to enjoy ourselves. So today we're going to be pre-fishing for the Veterans Tournament that's coming up this Sunday on Clinton Lake. I'll tell you what day it is because my wife says I look unintelligent when I don't know what day it is. But it is Tuesday, November 5th. Thank you, honey. Uh, and got the dogs with us. Plus, we're going to be meeting my fishing partner over there, Gary Robinson. He invited me to fish this tournament with him, so I told him I would do it. He's the manager of Bass Pro, so uh, we'll see what we can do. We actually fished it yesterday with my buddy Thad Welsher. Did real well. Caught some uh, big tournament fish, some 14 inchers. I know some of you in Arkansas and Mississippi think those are babies, but uh, in Kansas those are big crappies. So anyway, we're going to go just kind of pre-fish, find some brush piles that maybe we don't know a lot about, do a little exploring, uh, use some B&M poles, use some Garmin Live Scope, and see if we can't uh, pin some spots down for Sunday morning. Here we go. All right, guys, we've got the hack cam going here, and I'm going to show you how easy it is. Let's see if I can get this tilted a little bit better like that. Hopefully, here's how I set up the screen. All right, I like to use my side imaging, my traditional, and my charts. And if you look at this number six, you can see what I've done. I'll zoom in here. If you look at this number six, I just found that spot. And how I did it was I knew that the fish are going to be somewhere between 21, 22, 23 feet. Now I know it says 23 and 26 over here, but Clinton is flooded about eight or nine feet. So that's actually 31 feet. So I want to stay in 22 feet. Now what I did was I just, you can see my track. I went up past that spot and I saw it on the side imaging. Let me show you first off how I create the the actual combo. So I go into combos, I go to customize, I hit add, I'm going to use the combo uh, right here. That's the one I just used. In empty, you touch it, you go to sonar, you go to side view. All right, empty, charts, fishing charts, my favorite, you got your fishing charts. Then sonar, go traditional. Now you can also put in your live scope or anything like that, but I've got my live scope mounted to my trolling motor. So it doesn't do me any good when I'm moving unless I'm moving really slow and have the trolling motor in the water. As you can see, I went over the spot and this is where we're at in live time and right there is that brush pile. And you can see that there's a lot of fish on it. What you can do is you can actually hit that screen and see there's some brush piles right there with some fish on it. You can actually hit pause right here and then you can take your finger and drag it on any of these cursors right here. All right, and of course we want to take it and zoom in right here on this brush pile and then put that cursor right there go up here to waypoint hit waypoint and that's number six should be right on top of the one we just created so there's a good little tutorial how to do it now what we can do is we can go back to our combos and we can just go to the sonar and we'll just turn around and go right back to that brush pile which is right here see i noticed notice that i put a couple of spots right on that brush pile because it looked like there was a lot of fish so then what I like to do, take into consideration the wind's coming from this way. So what I want to do is come in from the back side of that brush pile that we just drove around. Right there they are. If you take a look right there, those are the brush piles. So I want to come in on the back side, even though I kind of already over, you know, I kind of already drove over them. Those crappie are like quail. They'll come back to that covey or they'll come back to that cover with the cubby. So we're going to turn, we're going to zoom in, we're going to get adjusted with the wind so that uh, the live scope will have an easier time focusing on those fish and the trolling motor will have an easier time on the spot log. But basically that big brush pile is right there, 550 and 553. So we'll turn off the engine, come up here, turn this stuff on up here. There's the Garmin live scope, which is fair. Lee dirty. I apologize about that. We'll clean that up. And we'll turn this on. And the wind should push us a little to the left of it. So get that trolling motor down. We'll get the live scope going. We'll hit agree. And 
it takes a little while for it to actually actually come alive and I just I literally just saw what we're looking for now what we're gonna do is we're going to oh man I made it nasty didn't I cleaned off there all right okay so here we go hit agree got the trolling motor on and we're gonna go back to these spots all right so we're gonna turn the boat there's the screen turning on with the movement and we're gonna see this 53 and 50 that we just created by finding it with the side imaging we're gonna take the trolling motor up We'll zoom in, and we're gonna we're gonna come out and look at it from about 25 feet. So it should be right up here. We're going into the wind, so we'll just kind of look around here. We want to be in 22 to 23 feet of water, so we're gonna go out a little bit deeper. You can kind of see we're right along the dam. See if there's any fish on that spot. Now there they are, right there. Those are the crappie, right there. Okay, those are the crappie right off the bottom. And there's the crappie right there. Look at that. Those are all crappie right there, right along the bottom. So basically, we're going to zoom in here a little bit more. We're going to come in a little bit more. Some people like to pitch to them, but I like to be right on top of them. And that's a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish on some structure right there. So we're keep going. We're keep turning. We're seeing it. We're getting close. Oh, there's a big one too. There's some big ones on it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in now. Just use the trolling motor. What I like to do is take my trolling motor down a notch or two, and then we get a little bit closer, a little bit more. We're kind of right on top of it now, so we're going to hit the spot lock, and then we're going to zoom in on that structure. And that spot lock will keep us right there. You can kind of see we're pretty close right to where those are, and we're going to dip some minnows, see if we can't catch a crappie. And it looks like there's a whole bunch of them down there. So, using a double rig presentation. Hopefully I'm not making you guys too dizzy with the hat cam, but uh, I think you'll like this. This is searching for crappie 101 with Crappie Kirby. Here we go. So grab a couple minnows. There's one. There's two. And I like to hook my minnows right through the lips so they can't tell the other fish down there we're gunning for them hee <laughs> hee old fishing joke and look there's ooh, there's five big ones on that brush pile right in front of us drop down there ooh, there's a couple fish looking at my bottom jig and there he is boom nice one nice crappie oh my gosh this is a nice one. Oh, this could be a t tournament winner Look at that crappie. That is a hog. That is a hog daddy. Damn, dude. That is a 14 inch crappie. Woohoo! Look at that. Boom, that'll win some tournaments right there. So we're gonna real gently place him back in there. And that's how you do it. Okay guys, I'm going to drop down and you'll be able to see me drop down into this brush pile and maybe see a little video game. There I am dropping down, you can see me. And I'm dropping down right on the fish's head. Right now I'm on the fish's head. You can kind of see it bebopping and popping along. I'll work it back here. Oh, there's a fish there. Oh, he's gonna, oh, 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 oh. Now I'm in the brush. Oh, there he is. I got him. You can see him coming up on the screen, and it is a big crappie. It is a big crappie. Eh, maybe not that big, but a crappie nonetheless. And you're not going to believe this, but that crappie just spit out 
another minnow. Some good footage of the jig working back and forth there. I just spooked one out of the brush pile. That's not good. Oh, come on, Crappie. Come on, Crappie. I know that's you. That's a Crappie right there. And there he is. I got it. He's coming up. Look at that. You can see him on the screen, and he feels like a hog. He feels like a hog. Look at that Crappie baby. Boom! Look at that Crappie baby. Stop that right there. Nice. Nice little. 13 inch crappie right there. Okay, so since we are pre-fishing, oh here comes my, my tournament partner Gary. I probably should catch one. I was gonna say since we're pre-fishing, we should just leave this alone, but uh, this is just too much fun. Are you serious? I caught five fish within my first eight minutes. So watch this. I can see it dropping down. Bing, bang, cling, clang, boom. Now I'm on the bottom. Coming in on it. Take it back a little bit. Drop it down in there a little bit. Oh, there's one looking at my bottom minnow right now. They're nice. They've got fish on them. Fish embedded in them, big ones. There he is. He came up and got it. And I got it on the live screen. I said, and I got it on the live screen. Oh, that's a dork. That's the smallest crappie I've caught today. And there's still big ones down there. I gotta keep fishing this spot, darn it. Oh, I got one on the lower jig. Came up and I saw him on the live scope. Look at that, all that mud. He's sitting right on the bottom. Look at all that mud on his fins. Bottom jig, I called it. Live scoop, don't lie. You need to change the name, Garmin. No more live scope. You need to call it truth scope. Because it tells the truth, baby. Oh, it tells the truth. Let's catch another one. Catch another one. Just drop down into it. back a little bit right in the heart of it right now oh fish came out of it think about hitting it okay Gary this is the one, this one right here will win a tournament. This one right here will win a tournament. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is where we're going, baby. And I'm not putting this video out till Monday. <laughs>